So I'm going um, back to water aerobics today. It was really fun and it was nice um, to engage with some people and some, do some different activities and just kind of pamper myself a little bit. So I'm gonna go, this time I'm gonna go with two friends. Um, Imani will be one and then there's another one that I'm, um, that's coming. She's gonna meet me at home and then we're gonna drive to pick Imani up. Imani lives about 30 minutes away, so I'm headed out the door now. So this is my to-go stuff, right? So I have tea, zest tea. This stuff, I gotta buy me some more um, Super Bear Samba uh, with the caffeine in it. Then I have my water filled and ready to go with alkaline water. I have some fresh strawberries. Um, I have some honey roasted peanuts and I have a banana so I don't know if I'll eat any or all of this but I do think I need to at least eat the strawberries um, and the banana or something I need to eat something in route so I can have something on my stomach while we work out last week I didn't eat anything and by the time we were done with everything I felt extremely weak and I couldn't wait to eat so I don't want to um, have those feelings so I'm gonna go ahead and have some fruit as I drive, as um, I commute to pick up my friends. So, hope you guys are doing something good for yourself this weekend. Maybe getting some rest in, maybe taking a nice walk. Um, just hope you're doing something for yourself this weekend. All right, guys, I will touch base with you later. Good morning. So, we are at Water Aerobics. You wanna say hi? Good morning, Imani. I had since January. All right, so now I wanted a smoothie, but uh, I ended up I ended up chicken and waffles. And my friend gave me some of her sausage. You see how big this sausage link is? Then I have corned beef hash and regular hash browns. So I'm not gonna eat all of this, but this is Saturday breakfast brunch thing. That's what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we sharing. Carrot cake pancakes. Mm. And they come with some cream cheese on the top. Y'all should try these. These are really good. Okay, guys. So I am just coming from a wonderful day with some wonderful ladies. Um, my heart is so full. I'm so grateful that I have um, such big hearted, amazing people in my life. Blessed and grateful. So anyway, I'm home now and I had some coffee today and I am feeling lit. <laughs> uh, so I got all this energy and we are not going to let it go to waste. So I'm gonna um, clean up, um, you know, do some vacuuming, do some laundry, straighten up, tidy up a little bit. And then I have some like paperwork and things to take care of. But for now I have the physical capacity. I'm gonna get some good stuff done. So anyway, my friend, 
one of my bestest friends, she she got me a gift and I have not used it yet. So Sequesta, if you ever listen to this video, cause you might watch the videos at some point in life, thank you for my gift. I'm finally opening it. So for, um, I wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's pretty cool. So this is, what is it called? This is a wireless speaker, but it looks like a light bulb. And apparently I haven't used it yet, but she showed me how to use it at her house. You plug it in like a light bulb and it plays out of this. So, and it lights up like a light bulb. So this is a pretty cool thing. So I am going to blast some good tunes while I clean up and enjoy this Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside. I think I'm gonna go on the patio in an hour or so after I straighten up and um, bring my laptop out and just enjoy the weather. Maybe make me some iced tea or some water with some ice and lemon and just chill. So while I work, but peacefully chilling. So I just wanted to share this. I think this is a pretty cool concept. Has anyone ever seen anything like this? It's so unique. I think she said she got it at, is it bed? It might, I think bed, bath and beyond. So I don't know if you guys want to take a look, check it out. If you want one, I don't know, singles, pulse, solo, wireless speaker. Oh, and it's JBL. I think that's a really good quality. So, okay. Just sharing guys. And so Costa, thank you so much. Love you. All right, guys, touch base with you later. All right, guys, so I think Saturday night supermarket shopping is full of, been full of back now. Um, out because I have to pick my son up. And I thought, let me see what they have at this supermarket. They usually have some really convenient items. So I don't know, have you guys ever tried these golden berries? I don't know what these are, but they're in like the, the fruit section. Where did I get them? They look like little baby tomatoes, but... But it looks like these are berries and these are tomatoes. I'm gonna make a really good salad tomorrow. I'm really excited. All right, let me get the rest of my salad stuff. And another reason why I don't like going to the supermarket, I get very distracted. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get these to add to my salad to give it a little bit of a different taste. So another thing. Oops, going in the cart. Oops. So tomorrow's salad is gonna be lit. <laughs> other items carrot chips usually when i order off the instacart they never have the carrot chips i love the carrot chips so i'll be using these and i need some cucumbers so i'm gonna get some cucumbers too i like the mini cucumbers so i'm gonna get some cucumbers too all right guys i have to leave so i'm getting some apple pears have you guys tried apple pears i don't know i've never tried them so we're gonna try those this week too okay so this is the only supermarket that has these. These are Street Taco Car Balance Holy Tortillas, 12 count, 70 calories for two tortillas. So I think I'm gonna make me some fish tacos this week. Hmm. Now I need some salsa, like some pineapple salsa or something. I have lettuce and avocados at home, so I'm gonna go down this aisle and see what I want. They usually make fresh pineapple salsa here but I didn't see any so I'm gonna have to get something in the jar I'm not making it so let's not even do that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get something canned my head is going all over because I want to make it but nope let's keep it simple this one looks good the mango lime looks good I think I'm gonna try that one Ooh, or the peach pineapple which one would you get I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it I don't know I want one of them all right I'll let you guys know what I get Okay, so I want to go over my grocery haul. I got really excited and it made me remember why I don't go to the supermarket. However, next week is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to meal plan and meal prep. But a lot of this stuff it just looks so good and healthy and things I wanted to try. I like to have, I realize I need snacks. Healthy snacks, they crave my appetite. They make me not want to buy like pizza and things. So I'd rather have healthy snacks in the house 
than nothing. Um, so, all right, let's see what I got. So I got some, these looked really good. Citrus pop-ups. They are 70 calories per pop. So these will be my, my frozen treats. I was getting the Yasso bars, but these come by. I wanted something fruity. Um, I got the cranberries and glazed walnuts. It's gonna be like a salad topping. Just a couple, like a tablespoon is 45 calories. So just a sprinkle or two on the salads. My salads are gonna be delicious, right? So I got me some leafy green romaine lettuce. These were on sale. So I got two bags of those. I got the golden grape tomatoes. I'm looking forward to adding them to my salad. I got cucumbers. I have avocados here I already have. So that'll be avocados for the salad. I have a red pepper, I mean, red onion. I have orange peppers, green peppers. So I'm probably gonna add some of that. So that'll be salad stuff. Oh, then I got my carrot chips. So they'll probably be going into the salad too. And I'll have these um, in different ways too. Carrot chips. I like to air fry them and not, they're not fries, but it's like crispy carrots. So it's like a, a, a not really chips, but they look like chips. So I like to put them in the um, fry, air fryer too. So we'll see about that. Fruit related, I have the golden berries. Ah, I'm looking forward to trying these. And then these caught my eye too. I've never tried these. Apple pears. They looked really good though. It comes in three and they're huge. So I probably will try half at a time. You know, let Josh try them too. So we'll see. Then I chose the peach pineapples also. Which one did you want me to pick? Did you guys see the two? I forgot what the other one was. It was like mango lime or something. But I got peach pineapple. I've never, I've never heard of peach pineapple. So I'm excited to try that with my tacos. I'm gonna make some fish tacos this week with the street taco car balance holy tortillas. <laughs> I don't know if you know, you know my hip peas organic chickpea puffs so my son is so picky right and i let him try these last week and um i think i had two bags out of the six so these were definitely a hit a little healthier than normal chips and just some some healthy fun snacks to eat so this is my grocery haul i'm very excited and it's all really healthy stuff it's not really not anything crazy where I'm gonna fall off. I'm just gonna enjoy all the healthy stuff. This is definitely gross because back in the day, I would have had donuts, cookies, cakes, regular ice cream, hot like something full fat ice cream. And not to say it's bad, but in excess, it can be. So I'm just really proud of myself that my grocery haul looks a lot different than it used to. So I think you know, I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm happy about it. I'm going to put everything away now. All right, I will touch base with you guys later. So as I was putting things away, I realized I did not tell you guys about my yogurt. So Chobani has a less sugar Greek yogurt that I really like too. And these were on sale. They're, I think they're a little bit more calories. I feel like the other ones were 100 calories and these are 120 but they don't have much sugar but they have 12 grams of protein too and i like these were on sale these are a dollar piece and i think the regular price is like 169 so good steal so i got one of each i got the vanilla and cinnamon i got the strawberry i got the peach i got the wall the blueberry wild blueberry and then i got lemon and i forgot i bought some of those cookie brownie thingies too I put them away already so but I really enjoy the combination of the brownie cookie crumbles in the yogurt so I'm looking forward to trying them in these different flavors every flavor that I've tried so far with the cookie brownie crumbles in it it gives it a different taste so I'm excited to try these options I'll keep you guys posted good evening crew so i wanted to first say dinner so dinner was leftovers from last night it was the same chicken stir fry situation with a little bit of mashed potatoes i didn't eat a lot of it but i made my plate and then i got a phone call and i was hungry so i ate i forgot about recording it but that's my accountability just saying what i ate for dinner and i had some water um and that's been it so far 
I might have a yogurt. I don't know. Like, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll figure that part out later. But I just wanted to recap my day. So my day was amazing. I've noticed like I'm having all these epiphanies lately. And I think it's because I've been more focused on meditating and listening, right? Listening to God. Like I've been saying this on replay for like a couple weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. But I've noticed that I've had more like enlightening moments. So for today, um, I noticed how going to water aerobics with these two particular friends and people, it was like coming home. I felt enriched. I felt empowered. I felt um, positive energy, just happiness. Um, so I think my spirit is connecting with more like-minded individuals as I move about things and I'm more into intuitively choosing who to be in my space. I can't speak for all women, but I can speak for myself in terms of, um, I finally admitted to myself that I'm very sensitive, um, my feelings can get hurt easily. And I feel like before, just in past relationships and past situations, I think because of my trauma, my childhood trauma, my trauma with relationships, I really wasn't in tune with who I truly am as a woman and as a female and as a person. But now that I've been healing and I'm progressively constantly working on healing and working on getting to know and love myself more, I'm learning who I truly am and I'm accepting and embracing it. But I'm also giving um, room to be that person. So, for example, certain things or certain energies, I can feel energy stronger now. And if someone, if I don't feel comfortable about interacting with someone, I just can't do it anymore. I don't know if you guys have witnessed this or experienced this within yourself as you've healed and as you have like actively been working on traumas and things and working on growing and loving yourself self-love and self-care and things i don't know if that's anything anyone else has experienced but if you have and you're comfortable with sharing please feel free to do so i would love to get some additional feedback and input but excuse me i just think it's mind-blowing to me how how I'm able to feel energy now. And it's just like certain things, my mind, it, it's, it's spirit, you know, cause we're, we are spiritual beings. So our spirits speak and feel versus just the outside surface of a person, but you actually feel the energy. And it's just certain energies that I just, I cannot be around. I cannot talk to, if I, if I feel, like, you know, if I get a phone call and my walls go up or I feel some trepidation in picking the phone up, I don't pick the phone up anymore because my peace is most important. My peace and my sanity is most important. Um, like I mentioned yesterday or Thursday, I don't remember. We are all here to serve a purpose. God put us all on this earth because we're supposed to be fulfilling some type of purpose and some type of mission, right? And if we're distracted by being sad and depressed and in our feelings about everything, the outside environment, we can't fully function as that person. We can't fully function in our purpose. We can't find our purpose because we're so depressed. And I know that's intentional. I know that, um, the outside factors and honestly I will say it, the devil is a part of that in terms of wanting us to be so distracted by outside environmental elements that we have no control over so we don't fulfill our purpose. Do you know how many people that I am saying, speaking from, speaking from personal experience, how many people that I have known that have passed away without any purpose, any sense of direction, just lost in this world and depressed and just confused. Like, 
I think depression, no, I definitely know depression can kill you. Um, not ha knowing your purpose can kill you. Being consumed with the outside factors can kill you. And I want my life to mean something. Like when it's all said and done, I want to put a stamp on this world. I want to influence, even if it's one person, my purpose will have been fulfilled. So I'm very mindful of that in this season and I'm very careful of who I allow access to me because I know the mission is bigger than me being here and making myself happy. I have to practice self-love and self-care to get to my purpose, to fulfill my purpose, and to do what I was put on this earth to do. So, but the energy with these two ladies was absolutely amazing. And we all felt it. We all, because we're all givers. And we, we, we talked about um, our stories in terms of past relationships and things with people where we leave situations feeling like we gave and we gave and we gave and felt so depleted and empty. And then what's so funny is these same takers they will continue to come to you when you're completely, when you're depleted, when you have nothing left to give, and they will still come to you expecting things because at this point they feel entitled to all the things that you've provided so freely and lovingly, but you're giving out of the goodness of your heart. And I realized, and we talked about this, we realized that as a unit, that we need to spend more time together. We need to connect more to keep each other strong for any outside environmental things that we can't control. Because I think it's important. I think sometimes as givers, we give so much that we don't have anything left for ourselves. And we're no, we're no good to anyone if we're not full, right? You gotta, you have to give from an overflow, but in order to have an overflow, you gotta put in that self, self care and self love into yourself. So you can have that overflow to pour into others, but you have to, you have to be replenished within yourself, right? So I don't know, we had, we had lots of deep conversations. We had some good food, we shared our food. It was awesome, no regrets. I enjoyed every single bite. I don't regret one single calorie from today. And I don't know, I'm feeling really good about everything. I'm feeling like I can have, I can have good food, right? I can have decadent, delicious, high calorie food occasionally, and I can work out hard, you know? And I can meditate and I can journal and I can pray and I can listen to like relaxing music to soothe my soul. And I can have pizza, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to feel bad about eating other things, but also, I will say Friday, yesterday was a real, I would say an eye-opening moment for me because I was, I was a little down. Like it was, it was a real, it was a real tough work week. Um, just professionally speaking, there was a lot of things that I had to take care of as a leader that, um, no compassion in person wants to, wants to do. Um, so it took a toll on me on a personal level. And I think normally, no, not I think I know. Normally back, let's say a year ago, maybe even six months ago, if something like that had happened on a Friday, I would have ordered me some pizza, some wings. I would have like submerged myself in a movie. I would have ordered me some dessert, ice cream, cheesecake. I would have went in on the food. And if we're talking about a year ago, to be quite honest with you, I probably would have got something to drink. I might have got something else, you know, I might have got, you know, uh, made a phone call to a, a friend, like a connect kind of like uh, my life, you know, it's a lot different than it was a year or two years ago, let's say two years ago, like slowly getting better. But the way I handled yesterday, I'm very proud. What did I do? So let's recap. So yesterday, um, Right after work, I shut my computer down. I shut everything down. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I got my candle. I lit my candle in my living room. I had the, the patio door open, like the blinds open so I could see the rain because I like to listen to the rain and hear the rain. But I had the candle lit. I played me some nice um, 
music, some relaxing music. I journaled about my feelings. I got all my feelings out on paper. I splurged on a protein bar. It would have been a Snickers bar or a haagen ice cream or something like a cheesecake. No, that's not what we're doing. Um, and like I've had um, stresses and things before. Like back in the day, I used to smoke cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes for like 10 years. Um, it's hard to admit that, but this is my reality, right? Um, I've smoked cigars and black and miles when I'm stressed. You know, I don't do any of that anymore. So it's like, how can I find a more productive way to handle my stresses? Let me light a candle. Let me journal. Let me sit and listen to some therapeutic music. Let me splurge on a chocolate peanut butter protein bar. What? Like, who is that, right? That's what I was thinking yesterday. And then let me work out because now I'm releasing it. I released the the, the the words on paper and now I'm releasing it physically out my body. And now let me replenish myself with some healthy food. Let me love on myself in this season. I'm feeling some type of way about the decisions that I've had to make as a leader. And let me cook. Let not take out, let me cook something that's gonna be good tastes good but also good for my body like let me do that too so and then I had the most I took a bubble bath hot bubble bath with candles I played music in the bathtub and then like getting out is a whole experience I have all my facial products going I got the lotion and it's just it's just a whole vibe and moment and I have my diffuser on so it's kind of like my way of coping with stress is a lot different now and i'm very proud of that so do you guys have moments like where you can think about where i was two years ago where i was three years ago is nowhere near where i am now think about that and just imagine if you have come to that point where you realize a drastic difference between now last year a couple months ago a couple weeks ago even if it's something slow and progressive just imagine where you could be within a year next year where will we be next year um just in terms of our mental health and the things that we're accomplishing and our goals and everything just to think about that i think is amazing and it all starts with self-love and self-care because you have to fill your cup to do these things because if you love yourself your ways of coping with stresses if they look different i don't i didn't love myself then i can be completely honest i dealt with a lot and i tolerated a lot of things that i wouldn't deal with now because i love myself now like i can truly say I love myself now and that makes all of the difference in the world so yeah so that was that was that was hard to share I'm not gonna lie but I am no perfect patty I am I'm constantly a work in progress I am growing I am learning about myself about the things that I need and I'm just you know grateful that you guys are on this journey with me and that I can share these things with you and hopefully um, my story can help inspire and motivate at least one person. If one person gets something from my messages, then my purpose has been fulfilled. That's how I feel about it. So that's all I got for tonight. I'm going to wrap this up and I'm excited about tomorrow. I don't really know what's going to happen tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to do my hair. I hope so. I got a couple other things I want to do. My skincare. I'm looking for my skincare tomorrow. I'm very excited about all my new products. And my washcloths came. I was going to do an unpackaging because it's not a box. It's a wrapper. So I'll show you guys my washcloths tomorrow. My soft washcloths. They came today. So I'm very excited. Okay, guys, have a good night. Hope you guys had a really good Saturday, and we'll touch base tomorrow.